Um, now Enrique Stern uh, will be the next speaker. Uh, good morning, I am Enrique Stern, a PhD student in the Faculty of Physics in the University of Barcelona. And my research is focused on giant caloric effects arising in solid state materials, which have promising applications, as we will see. Well, it is well known that uh, a, a solid exhibits a thermal response when it is subjected to external field as a consequence uh, of its uh, change uh, on its conjugate displacement. Uh, however, uh, usually these effects are usually small because the induced changes on conjugate displacements are usually small. But this is not the case of phase transitions. Uh, as we know, uh, in the phase transitions, uh, we can clearly see that there is a large change uh, in conjugate displacement. And as a consequence of that, we can uh, measure large entropy change and large temperature change as a consequence of this phase transition. Uh, for instance, uh, let's see a, a couple of examples we have studied. Uh, we have iron rhodium, which is a very illustrative example, as it has a magnetovolumic first order transition. Associated to this first order transition, we have a large magnetization change. And we have a high temperature ferromagnetic phase and a low temperature anti-ferromagnetic phase. So that if we apply a magnetic field at the anti-ferromagnetic phase, what we are doing is to energetically favoring uh, the high temperature anti-ferromagnetic phase. And so we can induce a large entropy and temperature change. Another nice example is barium titanite. Uh, which exhibits uh, a first order transition from a paraelectric phase with no net electric polarization to a ferroelectric phase with a net uh, electric polarization. This happens because of the relative displacement between titanium cations and oxygen anions, and a net polarization arises during the transition. So if we apply an electric field in the vicinity of this first order transition, we can obtain a large entropy and temperature change. So, uh, one of the most important applications uh, uh, regarding to giant caloric effects in, in solid state materials is, of course, uh, solid state refrigeration. Uh, research uh, on this field grew exponentially uh, since the late 90s when uh, uh, it was found a material uh, exhibiting a uh, first order magnetostructural uh, transition at room temperature. So as the transition was at room temperature, new possibilities, new changes of applications uh, arises uh, regarding to, to solid state refrigeration. And this is very desire, highly desirable because uh, energy consumption represents a high fraction of our daily energy consumption. And of course, uh, conventional vapor cycle refrigeration uh, uh, employs uh, hazardous gases uh, which damage our atmosphere and, uh, and this technology has reached its energetic limits. So our aims as physicists are understanding the physical mechanism driving uh, this uh, kind of first order uh, transitions and of course we are aimed at optimizing uh, these giant caloric effects. From the one hand, this means maximizing uh, entropy and temperature changes on these materials, the temperature span of applicability so that uh, it can fit uh, on our uh, range of interest in the temperature, and the reversibility of the effect so that uh, the phenomena uh, do not change when cycling. So, as we know, uh, the thermodynamical cycle consists on continuously cycling the, the material, so we need this re reversibility. Uh, from the other hand, we should uh, minimize the magnitude of the applied fields so that they, uh, they shouldn't be dangerous for the application. They should, they should be uh, not difficult to apply. And uh, we should uh, reduce the hysteresis losses inherent to these first order transitions. So there is uh, no heat loss during, during, the, during the thermodynamical cycle. And this has to do uh, with the fit uh, between the high temperature phase and the low temperature phase and their compatibility. And of course, we should avoid the material fatigue so that the materials don't break when cycling. And of course, the cost and the environmental impact of these new materials formed. 
So, well, that's all. Thank you very much. And let's hope that uh, in future we will enjoy new methods of refrigeration. <laughs>